Your saving place makes saving nice with quality at a Kmart price. It's music for Mother's Day from GE. This FM AM digital clock radio with LED readout and music alarm is sale priced at just $29.87. And this FM AM portable radio that works on house current or batteries is just $18.77. Special Mother's Day sale ends Saturday at Kmart. Kmart is the place. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Retail Archaeology. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kmart. This particular location is in Mesa, Arizona, and it's one of only two Kmarts left in the Phoenix area. The first thing that caught my eye was the sign that said the garden center entrance was closed, along with how gross and disgusting this door was. Kmart was really popular in the 80s and 90s, but not so much today. We can see through the fence that the outside portion of the garden center looks like it's just mostly used for storage now. Once I entered the store, I went to see what the garden center looked like on the inside. We're now on the other side of that closed entrance. The two registers here don't appear to have been used in years. Surprisingly, you're still able to go to the outside portion of the garden center from here. Martha, Martha, how's your garden grow? With seeds and stakes, bulb planters and border spades. Martha, Martha, how's your garden grow? With annuals and perennials, pots and pruners. Martha, Martha, how does your garden grow? <laughs> With food and fertilizer and pretty flowers, all in a row. See the new Everyday Garden Collection now at Kmart. I don't think we'll be growing a garden like in that old commercial with anything from out here. The outside portion of the garden center does have some products for sale, but it looks like it's mostly used for storage and garbage. I'm surprised they allow customers out here with it looking like this. Let's take a look at the rest of the store now. You can see the store is mostly devoid of customers. This was filmed in the afternoon when a store like this should be busy. Nothing in this store appears to have been updated since the 90s. It feels very much like a time capsule from the 90s in here. All of the fixtures, the flooring, the lighting, everything just feels outdated. Again, just no customers all the way down these long walkways. I did want to film the other Mesa Kmart location, but it closed. You can see it's being redeveloped. The iconic Kmart awning has been torn down, and the old garden center is in the process of being demolished. It says there's a Ross and a Big Lots going in there, but there's already a Big lot, so it's really only a net gain of one shop for this distressed shopping center. A lot of product just sitting on pallets out in the middle of the aisle, awful line of sight down the walkways, and then we have a Sears appliance section. The Sears appliance section just feels like a bunch of appliances dumped onto the floor as well. another shot kind of from the back of the appliance section and again no customers looking at anything now this is a shot kind of more from the middle of the store and you can see again just products strewn about really outdated store fixtures just doesn't look like a a nice store anymore like Target looks like or like Kmart used to. The electronics section is pretty sad too. I used to try out and buy new video games at this exact store. 
and they used to have the latest gadgets too. See that. So that's the new Super Nintendo Entertainment System. What about it? They say it has 16-bit technology, whatever that means. Oh, I see. What else do they say? That it has 3D graphics and digital stereo sound, and that Super Mario World is included. Okay, okay, we'll get it for him. So, yes. how long did he work on you? About they don't even sell video games here anymore. Half the electronics section is taken up by mattresses. The other half consists of generic brand TVs and electronics and discount DVDs and CDs. I don't think anybody's going to buy any of these DVDs or CDs anytime soon. shots of the clothing departments in the front of the store and a customer first one I've seen Kmart's used to have like little snack bars or cafeterias in them but I remember when I was a kid they switched to uh, Little Caesars pizzas in the stores I'm not sure if all the Kmart still have them but this one still does but it's also mostly dead, just like the Kmart itself. Thanks for checking out the Retail Archaeology channel. If you like what you saw, why don't you click that subscribe button and check out this video here I did about a dead mall in Mesa, Arizona. Also, if you like retro gaming, you can check out my retro gaming channel. And as always, thanks for watching.